Hi people, today in front of me is an Acer laptop. It is an Aspire 3 series and the model is A31533C89L. This laptop I Flipkart se purchased kiya hai for 15,000 rupees and I have exchanged my old laptop which was a Sony Vio E series. So my previous laptop which was a Sony Vio series had a good configuration that is it supported a 4 GB of RAM, a 500 GB of hard drive and also it had the i3 processor. So this is a kind of downgrade which I've done but my intention of use is for basic internet browsing, emails, checkings and I'm not going to use a very high-end applications or software in this particular laptop. I do have an official laptop which is a high-end configuration and I do all my official works on that. But this is exclusively for my home use and I have all my personal files, everything in this particular system. So if you want to use have a laptop in which you can basic browsing, kare, basic internet check, kare, aapke personal use, then this laptop is perfect hai aapke liye. ये लैपटॉप का जो प्राइस है उसके अकॉर्डिंगली इसकी कॉन्फिगरेशन आती है इट इज लाइक एनी लैपटॉप्स इफ यू सी इन द प्राइस रेंज बिटवीन 10000 टू रुपीस 20000 यू विल नॉट हैव अ वेरी हाई एंड प्रोसेसर और अ हाई एंड रैम और अ हाई और अ हाई स्टोरेज ऑफ हार्ड ड्राइव सो लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली टेल यू अबाउट द कॉन्फिगरेशन व्हिच दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉडल सपोर्ट्स इट हैज एन इंटेल सेलेरॉन प्रोसेसर व्हिच इज एन3060 which has a base frequency of 1.6 GHz and it has a maximum frequency of 2.4 GHz with Turbo Boost. But the current generation of processors are Intel i3, i5, i7, 8th generation processors which are way faster than these particular Intel Celeron series. It also has a 2 GB of RAM and it is mentioned in Flipkart, it is mentioned in Flipkart side mein ki ye 8GB RAM तक support कर सकता है या आप इसको 8GB RAM तक expand कर सकते हैं but friends this is not the case I wanted to upgrade RAM in this I had a 2GB of RAM and a 4GB of RAM and I thought that I will extend it to 8GB of RAM with the two memory slots which this has as per mentioned in Flipkart but when I took this to the service center they disassembled the laptop and found that this RAM is an inbuilt to the motherboard and it is only 2GB so if you want to RAM badalna chahte hain, I think you have to change the motherboard so which is a kind of drawback in this and this is not also mentioned in the Flipkart site. So let me just quickly show you the rear side. If you see this, this is the slot which is which you can unscrew. आप इसको अनस्क्रू कर सकते हैं और आप इसमें जो भी हार्ड ड्राइव एक्सपेंड करना चाहते हैं जैसे 1TB तो आप इसमें कर सकते हैं ये आपको आसानी से कर सकते हैं इसको आपको पूरा जो है रियर साइड खोलने की जरूरत नहीं है नॉर्मली इन अदर लैपटॉप्स और इन माय प्रीवियस लैपटॉप्स आई हैड अ काइंड ऑफ रिमूवेबल स्लॉट हियर व्हिच वाज फॉर रैम बट दिस डजंट हैव दैट सो यू हैव टू कंप्लीटली रिमूव दिस पोस्ट व्हिच यू कैन सी लाइक इट इज इनबिल्ट इनटू द रैम एंड दिस वाज टोल्ड बाय द सर्विस सेंटर पीपल so that is a kind of drawback which this particular laptop has and also this laptop comes with Linux operating system and now you are seeing that I have installed Windows 10 in it okay so I have actually Windows 10 home original version okay I have purchased it directly from Microsoft website se. and this is a genuine copy so you will see that you will see that एक छोटा सा पेन ड्राइव मिलेगा ये देखिए छोटा सा पेन ड्राइव आपको मिलेगा और ये पेन ड्राइव को आपको कनेक्ट करके इससे बूट करना है देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू रन द इंस्टॉलेशन फाइल्स एंड द सेटअप विल कंप्लीट बट दैट इज नॉट हाउ इजी इट सीम्स आई हैड टू ब्राउज थ्रू लॉट ऑफ टेक्निकल फोरम्स एंड वेबसाइट्स एंड आई फाउंड आउट द सॉल्यूशन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल दिस सो आई जस्ट वांट टू शेयर दैट विद यू सो if you want to install the Windows 10 in this particular system, first you have to modify the settings in the BIOS. Okay, so BIOS, there are two boot mode. That is one is legacy and the other one is UEFI. So UEFI is the latest BIOS mode which is supporting the Windows 10. And legacy jo hai, wo aapko Windows 7 tak support karti thi. 
and even it supports windows 8 and windows 10 but it's recommended to highly uh, have the boot mode set to uefi before you install the windows 10 because there might be a lot of uh, conflicts with the operating system and the hardware when you install this or the windows 10 in the legacy mode so pehle main aapko bios settings mein aapko bata dunga ki isme aapko kya changes karne hain aur uske baad kaise aapko isko install karna hai this particular uh, pen drive which i have i thought once you connect this to your this laptop and if you use a boot options it will directly boot up to the setup page and i can install the os but that is not the case this will not work with that you have to do some kind of uh, setting changes and I'll, i will tell you that how you have to uh, create a pen drive in order to install windows 10 in this so let me quickly just uh, boot the system into the bios mode okay so i'm just going to click on restart the system will restart and it will boot into the normal mode that is a windows mode unless and until you keep tapping the f2 options so f2 is the key for going into the bios mode and aapko usko दबाना छोड़ना दबाना छोड़ना है टैप करते रहना है मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ जैसे आपको एसर लोगो आएगा आपको उसमें टैप करते रहना है यू टू कीप टैपिंग दी एफ टू की इन ऑर्डर टू बूट इन टू द बायोस मोड ओके एंड बाय द वे दिस लैपटॉप लुक्स रियली गुड इट्स स्लीक इट हैज अ गुड फिनिश एंड आई एम रियली हैप्पी विद द अपियरेंस दिस हैज इट्स वेरी लाइट डजेंट लुक लाइक फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड लैपटॉप विद अपियरेंस इट हैज सो लेट मी क्विकली कीप टैप दी एफ टू की बिकॉज इट विल थ्रो मी द एसर लोगो so you have the enter current password which is nothing but the supervisor password which i have set okay and the reason why i have set the supervisor password is because you have to disable the secure boot initially when you install the windows 10 operating system post which whether you enable it or disable it that doesn't uh, have any kind of concerns but in order to uh, enter the windows 10 installation setup you have to ensure that it is Uh, disabled so the default configuration is enabled you have to disable the secure boot and in order to disable the secure boot in order to ensure that it is not grayed out you have to enter the supervisor password lekin supervisor password ka not only uska wo advantage hai aapko ye bhi ensure karta hai ki aapke alawa isko aur koi access na kare for example agar ye supervisor password set nahi hota hai to koi bhi boot mode mein ja sakta hai aur aapke configuration change kar sakta hai settings change kar sakta hai so in order to avoid those kind of things it's always good to have a bios password which is nothing but a supervisor password here so let me quickly just enter it so ye aapko chale gaya hai bios page mein to bios page mein aap dekhenge to isme aapko uh, options aate hain i'll just zoom this So आप देखेंगे कि ये ट्री बायोस नहीं है ये पेज बायोस है तो आपको एक एक पेज में आपको जैसे इन्फॉर्मेशन पेज में आपको सी पी इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगा प्रोसेसर इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगा रैम इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगा आपको जो है सीरियल नंबर मिल जाएगा हार्ड ड्राइव डिटेल्स मिल जाएंगे सो दिस अ बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन पेज जिसमें आपको कुछ करना नहीं है तो आप नेक्स्ट पेज में जाएंगे तो आपको मेन में आपको सिस्टम टाइम सिस्टम डेट नेटवर्क बुक और F12 टूल्व बूट मेन्यू ये आपका पहला इंपॉर्टेंट सेटिंग है F12 टूल बूट मेन्यू जो है वो डिसेबल रहेगा आपको एनेबल करना है क्योंकि अगर आप ये एनेबल नहीं करेंगे तो वो बार बार इट विल टेक यू ओनली टू द लिनेक्स पेज और द लिनेक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो प्लीज एंड शो इट इज एनेबल्ड ओके यू जस्ट हैव टू हिट एंटर ऑन दिस एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू एनेबल इट दैट्स इट और राइट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग ये आपको पहले सबसे पहले करना है उसके बाद आप सिक्योरिटी में जाइए सिक्योरिटी में जाके आपको सुपरवाइजर पासवर्ड सेट करना है जो मैंने पहले से कर दिया है तो पहले ये सेट सुपरवाइजर पासवर्ड आप एंटर करेंगे तो आपको पासवर्ड पूछेगा आप जो सेट करना चाहते हैं तो एंटर कर दीजिए एंड कंफर्म कर दीजिए तो सुपरवाइजर पासवर्ड सेट हो जाएगा लेकिन फ्रेंड्स प्लीज इंश्योर दैट यू नोट दिस पासवर्ड बिकॉज विदाउट दिस यू कैन नॉट गो इन द बायोस अगेन इफ यू फॉरगेट दिस देन यू आर गॉन आई थिंक यू आर टू रिप्लेस एंटायर मदर बोर्ड और देर आर अदर स्टेप्स विच विल कॉस्ट यू मोर so please ensure that supervisor password is backed up or you write it down and keep safely note it down anywhere you can but please ensure do not uh, i mean forget this password it's very important that's it then come to the next page 
so two things i have told you that is one which is the f12 boot menu you have to enable it you have to set the supervisor password and this is the third page boot mode is ufi and secure boot is enabled so secure boot will always be enabled okay and uh, in order to run the installation file it's always recommended you disable it okay and also you can change the boot mode in most of the bios but here i do not think you have an option to change it even if you okay so even if you change the secure boot you disable it you do not see an option to change it which means that the boot mode is set to ufi only you cannot change it to legacy all right so that's it so three things which you have to change here is you have to change the f12 boot menu you have to enable it you have to set the supervisor password and you have to disable the secure boot okay so i have not going to apply these changes because i have already done it and i have installed the windows so i'm going to just click escape it shows exit discarding changes i'm going to click yes all right so now after this what you have to do is like you have to create a bootable pen drive okay and you have to create this bootable pen drive in the gpt partition format so there are two types of partitions which is mbr and gpt partitions so the current recommended or the uh, the most recent of this is the gpt partition and uh, pen drives which are bootable or which are created with mgr uh, sorry with which are created with the mbr uh, partition format that will not work in this particular laptop okay because it doesn't have a legacy option where you can switch to legacy bios and you can boot it so this has only uef5 bios so you have to create a bootable pen drive which supports the gpt partition format okay and uh, for that what you have to do is you cannot you cannot uh, get an ios file from this particular pen drive because it has just the installation and setup file okay that is a genuine windows 10 pen drive so aapko karna ye hai ki aapko do cheezein chahiye jo main aapko dikha dunga so aapko jo hai do cheezein chahiye jo ek pehle hai aapko ek uh, बूटेबल पेन ड्राइव बनाना है आपको राइट तो बूटेबल पेन ड्राइव बनाने के लिए आपको दो चीज़ें चाहिए एक तो है आपका ये जो आपको बोलते हैं एक ब्लैंक पेन ड्राइव ओके तो ब्लैंक पेन ड्राइव चाहिए जिसमें आपको जो है एक एट जी बी मैक्सिम चलेगा एंड एट जी बी ऑफ ब्लैंक पेन ड्राइव इज़ वॉट यू नीड बिकॉज द आई ओ एस फाइल यू हैव टू डाउनलोड इट एंड इट कम्स अराउंड मैक्सिम फोर जी बी और राइट एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू यूज़ अ बूटेबल सॉफ्टवेयर okay so you can use the rafus so that is what i have used rafus uh, bootable creator bootable pen drive creator you can use that i will just show you all right so you see it, it's a bit lagging when initially when you boot it takes time even to right click and get the refresh options so that is how it is even it takes time to just load a page or open a folder to hota hai because ye configuration hi aise hai aapko definitely lag kabhi na kabhi pata chalega aur also aapko dekhiye maine outlook bhi startup boot mein rakha hai to normally aap dekhein jab aap boot karte hain initially it takes a bit time to boot into the windows it normally happens in all the laptops but isme thoda zyada hota hai to boot ke baad aap normally isko use kar sakte hain और आपको उतना कुछ लैग पता नहीं चलेगा सो लेट मी जस्ट गो इन टू द डाउनलोड्स आई विल शो यू दैट पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर विच आर डाउनलोडेड ओके लेट मी ओपन द इंटरनेट ब्राउजर फॉर यू दिस एज ब्राउजर ओके आई थिंक आई हैव might have this in uh, downloaded it let's see if it's there in the downloads already i'm not sure exactly where the software has got downloaded okay it's not here let me just type in here and see
so see the that's how the performance will be and I'm going to write roughest I'm not sure whether I downloaded it or not let me just quickly check that okay okay so friends yeah I got it actually I downloaded that software from my previous uh, laptop so that's why it's not available here so I'm sorry but I will show you that particular software okay I'll in so Rufus that's a software okay which you have to download that's that's a software which creates a bootable pen drive so you have this option you can download it from any website you can download it from uh, file hippo or you can download it from the Rufus site itself so as I told you that's a software which creates a bootable USB drives all right okay so this is the uh, first of the two things which you need that is uh, a software which creates a bootable drive okay and next you need to have a blank pen drive and one more thing which is the ISO file so there are three things okay so you need a, a blank pen drive which is maximum 8 GB you need a software which creates a bootable drive and you need to have the ISO file of the particular Windows 10 so how do you get an ISO file as I told you you will not be able to have in this because it already has the setup file only so I'll just download this and in order to download the Windows 10 ISO file you have to go into the Microsoft site so you just have to type in Windows 10 download that's it just type this here click on search it will take you to the page of the options available and you see the first option download windows 10 microsoft.com click on this option so while I'm just browsing through the web pages and switching between the applications you are able to see the performance of this laptop or up summit sakti aapko kaisa performance hoga aur kis ke liye aap isko basically use kar sakte hain and by the way actually dekhiye mere outlook mein it has nearly 50000 mails so it tends to slow down when you open outlook with that huge amount of data to dekhiye yahan par ek option aaya aapko create windows 10 installation media okay so you have to download this file all right so i'm going to click download tool now so this gives an option whether you want to run or save so I don't need to save it as of now so I'm just going to directly run it so as it will run you will have options that you can do what you can do you can do two things you can do Microsoft itself gives you a tool which automatically creates a bootable media ok so if you want to directly do it then you can do it but I am not sure that it is in GPT partition so that's why the format we need GPT partition तो इसलिए हमको जो है ISO फाइल डाउनलोड करना पड़ेगा यहाँ पर, ओके? तो दो चीजें कर सकता है, मैं आपको बताऊँगा, ये रन हो रहा है, ओके? तो हम लोग रन दिस, so it does take some time and also see about the Rufus software whether it's got downloaded or not I did click download but I don't think it's got downloaded let me check in the download files okay it's not done so let me click on download okay so now the download option will come so your program is now downloading okay so two things we are downloading now we are downloading two things one is the ISO file which we need 
for which we have gone into the Microsoft Windows 10 download page and another one is a software which we need to create the pen drive in the GPT partition in FAT32 format. So let's see, I think this page, what it shows. Okay, so this is a Windows 10 setup page. Okay, that is the, which we ran from the tool, okay? So we did run this particular uh, application from the download Windows 10 option in the Microsoft site. Okay, so this is, so as soon as you click download tool now, once you run this, this is the option you're going to get getting a few things ready okay so let's wait until that is completed let me just quickly show you whether this particular Rufus is downloaded or not do not see thanks for downloading it shows let me see whether it's downloaded or not it's, it should be in the download options still not download I don't know like why it's not getting downloaded let me try one more time and meanwhile this is getting a few things ready this is coming up with so you can download any version of Rupus you want but go for the latest version always because that is one that's the one which will always be showing up in the download files So once all these three things are ready, that is you have a 8 GB of pen drive blank and also you have the ISO file and also you have the Rufus software for creating the bootable media. You can directly open the Rufus 3.4 application which is downloaded. Once you download it, it will tell you to browse for the ISO file. There you go. So I'm going to run this Rufus. Okay, and this still comes up getting a few things ready. So once this uh, page is gone, the next page will give you an option that whether you want to uh, create a bootable media or you want to get the ISO file. So select the ISO file and download it. So it is a around 3.5 to 4 GB file, which will take a lot of time. Okay, so once you download the ISO file, remember the folder where you have kept it. And uh, then once the Rufus is also downloaded, run the Rufus and uh, once you open the rufus file okay so there it is there you get the microsoft windows 10 setup page click on accept and in the meanwhile the rufus is also installed so i'm going to run the rufus So I'll show you the Rufus setup because that is what is more important and what are the two options which you have to select okay so then yeah so see see guys this is a Rufus page the software when you run this particular software this is the page you land up with okay so device it doesn't show me any device because I have not connected any blank pen drive okay I'm not connected any blank pen drive so this remains blank so if you connect the blank pen drive you have to select the pen drive what you have and then you have the boot selection disk or ISO image. So that is the one which we are going to do here. Okay, which you have the ISO file. You have to download it from this particular uh, Windows creation tool. So after this page, you will get an option whether you have to download the ISO uh, media. You have to, I mean, download the ISO image or create a bootable media. So you have to choose the ISO image option which will download the file so once that is downloaded you just have to browse and select that particular iso image and then you will have the options of the target uh, partition scheme so this should be the option of gpt okay this should be having the option of gpt let me just quickly try to show you if i have a pen drive So 
So I'm connecting a pen drive, which is already a bootable pen drive, but I'll just want to show you the format because it was really tough for me to uh, get a Windows 10 installed in this. So I just want people to be very clear on this. Okay guys, see, so this is what I was talking about, about the ISO image. So what do you want to do? Okay. So you, whether you want to upgrade this PC or you want to create an installation media for another PC. So you don't have to do anything on this. And uh, because when you're going to do this setup, you will do it on another system because this will not have the windows, right? At that time, it will be uh, having a Linux only. So just create this, I mean, uh, select this option, create installation media, click on next. That's it. So it will tell you the language, the edition, architecture. So do not change anything. So it's already default. Yes, this is the page. Okay, so this is what you get. Choose which media to use. Whether you want a USB flash drive, that is whether you want to create a bootable media or you want to create an ISO file. Or you want, I mean, the, uh, download an ISO file. So you don't need to create a USB flash drive because I'm not sure whether this will create in the required format. So if it creates in the required format, you again will end up nowhere so you have to download the iso file click on next the, the download will continue and it will take some time because it is around um 3.5 to 4 gb file so that is how you have to download the iso image windows 10 iso image the reason why you got to download the iso image is because you have to create the bootable media from the rufus software and the partition scheme should be gpt okay and the file system should be FAT32. Please, guys, this is the most important thing which will ensure that the media which you create is a bootable media. Okay, so this is the pen drive, okay, which is the one which I have connected, and it's 16 GB, so you can have 8 GB also. That is a max which you might need. So don't go with the 4 GB because sometimes what happens is installation may get fail or some files may not get copy. So always ensure that you have a little extra space. So 8 GB is recommended. And even if you've seen that in this particular Microsoft site also, it needs to be at least 8 GB that is flash drive. So they also create the bootable media, but I'm not sure which partitions format they select so we are going to download the iso file and then we are going to use the rufus software to create this bootable media so the partition scheme should be gpt the file system should be fat32 that's it you just have to uh, select this particular image so i have already downloaded it but i'm not sure whether it's in this system or not i don't think yeah yeah so boot selection should be disk or iso image don't go for free dos select it and browse the location where you have downloaded the ISO image okay and the ISO image is nothing but the one which you will get after you go to I mean after you download from here so once you click on next so it will tell you where you want to save this particular ISO image okay there's a Windows 10 ISO image so you can have to just click on save. I mean, select whichever location you want to and click on save. It will be saved in that particular location. For example, it's in documents. I'm not going to save it because it will start the installation and I don't want to waste my data of the internet. So I'm just going to cancel it. But if you're going to uh, choose it in the downloads, I mean documents, you have to browse it in the documents. Okay. So there where you will find the ISO image. Okay, so once ISO image you have selected, you browse the ISO image location. That's it. You click on start and it will create you the Windows 10 installation media or the bootable pen drive, which you can use in this particular system BIOS to install your Windows 10 OS. Okay, so that is the procedure. And once this is, once you start this, it will show completed or finished. That's it. You're, you can eject the pen drive. And the process after that is you have to keep tapping F2L in the Acer logo. You have to restart the system, keep tapping F2L in the Acer logo. And then you will have the pen drive, whichever you have created. So this one is a SanDisk. And if you are going to use any other manufacturer pen drives also, it will have the name or any options of a USB. It's nothing but the pen drive, a bootable pen drive, which you have created. Select that. That's it. It will begin the installation 
it will then give you the options like the partitions where you have to install the OS and all those kind of basic OS installation setup will be coming and you can install your OS from there all right and you can finish the setup so then it's a very normal procedure you have to uh, choose a Wi-Fi connection and you have to set up your systems personalize it that's how the normal installation of Windows happens okay guys so I'm telling you again three things which you have to do to create this bootable media is you got to have the Rufus software download it you can just Google Rufus and you will have the links to download the free software and once you open the Rufus software you will have the page like this as I told you the partition scheme should be GPT and the file system should be FAT32 connect the blank pen drive which should be at least 8 GB and uh, recommended from Microsoft also and select that in the device and uh, browse the ISO image and for ISO image you will have to go to the Microsoft site and you or you have to just uh, type in the Google that download Windows 10 so the first option will be the from from, from the Microsoft site only and then from the Microsoft you will have an option create Windows 10 installation media download the tool save it run the tool and once you run the tool it will give you this options after some basics uh, of license agreement that choose which media you have to use so if you are going to create a bootable media because this is a tool which you can uh, create a media itself but I'm not sure that whether it will have the GPT partition or the file type as FAT32 so that's the reason I'm just going to download the ISO file only which I've, uh, I've not done here so once you create next you will have the location where you're going to save the ISO file and the that location you have to browse from here that's it and you have to click the start option once it is done it will show you the finish op finish option and you have to eject the pen drive and you have to restart your computer and keep tapping F12 in the Acer logo and you will find your pen drive there and then you can select that pen drive and you can start up the installation of Windows 10 from there and also the BIOS settings please remember that before you create this have the BIOS you have to uh, dis I mean disable the secure boot okay and you have to enable the f12 boot options which i have showed you in the video earlier and also you have to set the supervisor password for this supervisor password will not only help you for this also it will not give any unauthorized access to bios other than you all right so this is the thing which i wanted to inform if you want to install the windows 10 in this particular system and as i have told you that the performance wise this is only for home use the design is good and it comes with Linux so you have to download this particular Windows 10 from uh, Microsoft site to install it and I do have the Windows key also because I have bought this genuine Windows 10 home from Microsoft site so once you I mean once you uh, once you created the bootable media and you run through the installation it will prompt you to enter the product key all right so if you are going to if you had the product key same product key in your previous computer no issues it will overwrite and it will have the product key installed in this system only and in the previous system what will happen is when you go and check it will show it will not have any product key at all because it has got overwritten that is it has come it has overwritten from your previous system to this new system okay but only thing is that uh, this is like I can use it only for one user so I can use this particular uh, Windows 10 home one key for one system only okay so if I'm going to buy another new laptop and I, I can use the same key during the Windows OS installation and I can have the Windows activated there itself and when I come back to this particular laptop it will not show me the product key which means that there is no product key and it is not activated all right so hope that is clear and uh, other than this the laptop is okay for home use in this price range and you can definitely go uh, for this particular laptop if you are going to purchase it for a ba very basic use for kind of study material downloads browsing okay for any kind of basic projects in your college schools so those are the things but if you are going to use a very high-end applications multiple applications gamings and all those things this is not for you all right guys so that's it from me and if you still have any queries please let me know i have tried to explain you in details and also there was 
kind of delay in showing you the exact pages which i intended to but if you still want me to explain anything to you please let me know i'll definitely do that and uh, there are other things which i will also uh, review whenever i get those things or some things which fascinate me so that's it guys so hope this video was useful for you to just know about the basic of this particular laptop and uh, also how to install windows 10 in this all right guys thank you for watching the video bye bye